So your bike broke down, it's not cranking over, and you've got a fault code 12 on the dash. Well, I'm B-Bud, and today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to fix that fault. So the bike we've got today is the R1, but don't fear, this uh, remedy should work on most other Yamahas, including ATVs. As you can see, fault code 12 only appears once you hit the starter button. Now according to Yamaha, fault code 12 is a malfunction in the crankshaft position sensor. But how can there be a fault if the bike isn't even turning over? So that is nearly the answer to the fault already. Let's work back on that. So when you go to start the bike, you hit the starter button, it sends a signal to the ECU. Now the ECU is meant to know that the bike is cranking over. But because the bike isn't turning over, it now thinks your crankshaft position sensor is faulty. So that is why you've got fault code 12 popping up on the dash. But that's not your fault. It's not the sensor. Let's work back on that again. We go to the starting. You hit the button, sends a signal to the solenoid. The solenoid then clicks over and sends power to the starter motor. So those are your three points you need to test. Button, solenoid, motor. Easiest thing to do first is to jump start the starter solenoid by bypassing the two wires from the motor to the battery. So what that test tells us is that the starter motor itself is good. And if you took note, there's no longer a Falco 12 in the dash. Right. Next thing to test is the starter button. As you can see, I've used a power probe and all I've done is connected it to the wire that comes from the button to the solenoid. And as I press the button, it changes from red to green. And that's an indication that the signal from the button is good. Great, so with those two tests done, the button and the motor, those two are both good. So it only leaves us with one fault and that can only be the solenoid. So let's swap that out and then uh, we'll do a final test, hit the button, see if it fires up and there's no more fault code 12. Right guys, so as you can see, that seems to have fixed our problem. And as you can see, it is no longer showing the fault code 12. So it obviously wasn't that crankshaft position sensor after all. And it was just the starter solenoid. Right, I hope this has been an informative video and helped you guys. Uh, well, at least going to help you in the future. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.